What's going on, my Nabooers? I made a little prototype of a game. Uh, I did it in text mode just because I had an idea this morning. Um, I added joystick support real quick to Nabulib. And when I did that, I thought, oh, maybe I should make a real quick game just to test it out. So I did. Um, it's just in text mode, like I mentioned, because I just wanted to verify a prototype just to make sure I, I liked the idea of it. So it's multiplayer. It's up to four players. Um, and... The rules of the game, which will be in, in uh, graphics mode in the next version, but it's uh, right now it's called Game Man, yeah. So maybe somebody wants to give me a suggestion. <laughs> but so there's four ships on the side, and you don't know what ship you are first off. That's the great thing about it. So you got to just if there's a bomb in front of you, you have to just go and find out which character you are. Okay, so all the ships are the same, and they'll be the same in the graphic mode too. And then these pellets give you points. So when you pick up a pellet, you get more points. And when you pick a pellet, it leaves a bomb behind. So when you drive around, you're leaving bombs. Your destination is the little home. So you want to get there as quick as you can before any of the opponents get there. Now the destination will move and you'll get some points. Now, if you die, you turn into a little cross. And if somebody else comes along and eats your cross, then they get an extra ship. There's a timer that runs. Um, you can adjust that. I think I'm gonna make it like a menu so people can adjust different things. You start off with three ships. You can get a maximum up to eight ships. So the idea of the game is to get as many points as you can in the time frame that you're given against all your four opponents and see who wins. So you can block other opponents in by um, getting bombs from eating pellets. You can go right to the home instead. The home gives you more points than just eating a pellet. And you can also um, eat, oh yeah, you can also eat your opponent, which I haven't added yet, but that'll be the next step. So if you come in from behind, you can eat the opponent. To play it, just make sure you select the cloud CPM from the channel list here. And turn on your NABU. Once you're booted up, just go into user area number one. And you should see in the list here someplace, there it is, game one. So just type in game one. And there you go, off to playing game man, yeah. So I'm thinking like if the play field had, you know, rather than bombs, maybe there was like asteroids kind of thing all over the screen and you had a whole bunch of them, and they were, of course, they're hand-drawn by me because that's what you want. And then floating amongst the asteroids would be some sort of, like, super power pellets that you want to get. And these are the, the points that we have right now. And then, of course, you have your ship. So I want all the ships to be the same so that you have to guess which ship is yours when you start playing. So you got, like, different... Well, I guess they're all the same, right? So boom. And... You gotta drive them around and there'll be like an asteroid style dynamic. So I think like there'll be some, like some momentum. So when the ship starts moving, you gotta like turn it around and reverse the thrust to make it go the opposite direction. And then these asteroids, I don't know if they'll move. Like let's not get too carried away just yet, but I'm gonna do this in small revisions. So you're gonna see little updates as I go. And then also I was thinking it'd be really cool. Like let's say another ship is like heading towards you. Okay, then if it hits you in the side, then boom, you're dead. If it hits you in the back, then boom, you're dead. But if two ships are driving along and they hit each other both on the face and the nose, then they bounce and they'll bounce back. Doing, and then they'll fly backwards. So it'll be like head on collisions, like doing, right? And then there'll be some sort of home base, some sort of space spaceship here thing floating. And then if you, if you get on the spaceship, then that's your home, and then it relaunches you back to the start again. You have to start all over, and you get points. You get an extra man. So every time you land on the home base, you get an extra man. So you get a little man counter up in the top up here for all four players, and your timeout. So the idea is to collect as many of these power pellets and drop as many bombs to kill off your component opponents as you can, so that at the end, somebody will be chicken dinner chicken dinner so yeah 
Um, that's the idea <laughs> of the game. But it needs a name. It needs a name because, I mean, oh, when I right-click, it erases what I just did. No? Huh, I wonder how it went away. Anyway, it does need a name. So help me out here. <laughs> okay, let me know in the comments. So it's kind of like a Bomberman slash um, Pac-Man slash, I don't know. It's, 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 uh, there's a few different genres in there, but the idea is to make something that's fun and exciting that's multiplayer. I love those like family oriented games. So I, like I said, I just whipped this up real quick as a text demo because that's obviously a lot easier uh, than having to draw sprites and stuff. So first thing is I created um, some patterns here. So let's take a look here. Because I'm in text mode, I have a little font editor that I created <laughs> a while ago. My janky font editor where you can edit patterns. And I'm just using these letters um, for the ship. So the ship going upwards, facing right, etc. <laughs> and uh, back to the code. So like I said, I just brute forced this pretty much. So some of the parameters here are just adjustable so I can change those into uh, sprites later. And each ship gets a coordinate, a score, lives. And then the previous space character, so that when it lands on a space, um, when it leaves that space, it knows what it should leave behind. Is it leaving a bomb behind? What is it leaving an empty space behind, etc. So then we update the score, update some lives, update the timer, and we place the player. So placing a player is like a brute force. I just randomize and I check to see if there's already something there. If there's a player there, then I, I just loop. <laughs> Doing the movement, pretty basic. I'll clean this up, but right now, how the joystick works is it returns to you a byte that contains the bits that are set. So in this case, I'm just adding the two together. And then I have a, an enum where you can just do like joy up, joy down, joy right, etc. Okay, and I just move the player around the screen. And then if the previous, if, if there was a previous character on the screen, so you moved on to something, then it knows, it says, okay, was it a bomb? Was it a home? Was it a pellet? So you get to see how the the, the uh, ship behaves based upon what happened. So for example, if you land on a ship that was dead, then you increase your life and you don't get any points, but you increase your life and you can get up to eight lives. All right, and then we have our game loop. And then of course, our game man, yeah! So I just wanted to let you know that uh, Nabulib has joystick support, up to four different joysticks and that I'm going to release a game. <laughs> yeah, I think it'll be fun. Um, and it'll be my first, uh, it will be the first game, I guess, for the Nabu in like 40 years. So stay tuned. I'm going to, oh, uh, I guess since I got you on the, on the line here, um, the new version of Cloud CPM with the scrolling 80 column display is online. Uh, so yeah, ZADK DK came through as I su suspected they would. And the Telnet is working so you can run screen. You can even run Emacs on the Nabu or with the Nabu. That's so amazing. Now, again, unfinished, prototype, text mode, okay? And no warranty because I have no idea if it works entirely. I just wrote it like an hour this morning. So that's it. Uh, okay, have fun everybody. I'll see you in the next video.